All right, good morning. Welcome to Chat New Stuff with Nathan and Rio. Rio Ferdinand, as you can see there. Today we're indoors because we've been promised Gale Force Hurricanes today on the Tuesday, and we've got them. We tried going in the tent, and we, you you won't be able to hear a thing, I don't think. So we thought we'd come in here and bring you the Daily Telegraph on a Tuesday. It's the big one again. Another broadsheet. So what we got on the front? Oh, I love a little bit as well. It says, uh, home used as cash machines. That sounds quite uh, quite good. It says, retired homeowners are borrowing a record four million pound a day against their properties as a saving crisis leaves many with too little to fund their retirement figures, we'll show today. Tens of thousands have resorted to using their homes as cash machines, experts said, as they struggle to fund retirement plans and pay care bills in old age. Oh, that's pretty yeah. sad, isn't it? Right? I Same thought it was going to do something like people don't trust the banks, so they're using their homes as and this is And this is quite interesting, little statistic, though. Yeah. It says, look, uh, in the early 90s, a man aged 65 could have turned £100,000 into a lifetime income of more than 15 grand a year by buying an annuity. Today, someone of the same age would offer nearly six grand. So it's yeah. less than 50%, like, that is, isn't it? for investing. You don't want to invest money with these people, though. They're greedy bastards, aren't they? Yeah. All big bonuses and... Like, imagine all the bonuses they pay to banks. Like, obviously, yeah. they'd, they'd take their money out of that, wouldn't they? Yeah. This one's a joke. Migrant storm, UK bound lorries. Well, we've got a storm coming into the UK, haven't they? Mm. Right? So they were thinking, oh, like, weather and that is going to bring loads of foreigners over. It says that about 300 migrants yesterday tried to force their way onto lorries queuing outside Calais to board a ferries for England, French police said. The migrants tried to storm a long line of lorries backed up on the motorway outside Calais, said Giles. Giles. No, Joel de Beau. Oh, it's got nothing to do with the storm then. No, nothing to do with the storm. Noise. It's just loads of people coming over here and that. Uh, the authorities estimate that about 1,500 migrants are now living rough in the woods and wasteland around Calais or squatting in disgusting, no, disused, which probably are disgusting, mm. buildings in cities. And uh, Britain, have, Britain have given America, uh, not America, France, sorry, £12 million to help fund the efforts to stop them coming over to the UK. Voters could be given the right to sack bad apple MPs after Labour and the Liberal Democrats said they would seek to strengthen current plans before Parliament on by-elections. Yeah, that's a good idea, but they're panicking again, but they won't do it. No, they won't do it. Why would they do that? Because uh, they don't want to give people... Just in case someone does something wrong in Labour or Lib Dem when they're in power, they'll just... That's their power. worst nightmare, giving power to the people. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they won't. won't do that. They're, they're fooling people here, I think. Yeah, just to get people's hopes up a bit. Maybe vote, just to vote for that party. Yeah, yeah, just think, oh, they're doing that. Don't believe it. Up here it says, Muslim women in a veil is shown the door by singers at Paris Opera House. <laughs> so what's that? Is that the thing, the thing with her face? Yeah, yeah, like that. Face, yeah. They're like a postbox. You can't really <laughs> do that. That's, a that's, ra- that's racist, that is, is it? That's yeah, it's proper Discrimination. Racism. Does it, does it say like a whole family not to get booted out of it? Not just a, just a woman. A tourist from a Gulf state was ordered out after America. Why is it saying the Gulf state now? Because they, they're thinking, oh, right, this is all kicking off in the Gulf, so we'll use that term. Yeah, maybe. That's stupid, isn't it? She probably did. She could have come from Egypt. Just don't know that. So it's another power station fault. Oh, we could face blackouts. Oh, again? Not that we've had one yet, but they keep talking about them. A blaze that ripped through a power station led to blackouts and a rapid rise in power bills this winter. Well, yeah, we've heard that all week. Yeah. Because uh, obviously there was a fire at Didcot yesterday. They reckon if there's one more, we'll have blackouts everywhere. Oh, oh, well, they need to keep these power plants up to date then, yeah. don't they? There's the there's fire right there. Look. Residents could oh, I would build it up, but they might not see it. It is quite big. It's quite a big paper. You can probably see that. A head teacher who provoked parents' anger by booking a Caribbean holiday during term time has refused to explain her decision, saying her private life is exactly what it is, private. Yeah, all right, but yeah. not in school term, just because it's a bit cheaper, love. So, do you know, school teachers get, like, the most amount of holiday, because they yeah. obviously get the six-week holiday, the Easter holiday, and they, don't, they do go into work for some of it, but they, only got, they don't go in there for a yeah, lot. Yeah, like one. Because they have to do prep work, weeks, that, don't yeah. they, for the term. But uh, school governor defended Jenny Winter, 53, the head of Elstow School near Bedford, or oh, there's a lot of trouble going in Bedford at the minute, that's what I've been reading. Uh, who is taking a week off after Christmas break for a beach holiday, despite it being the start of school term. So she's going to have Christmas and she's going to the Caribbean. Have a nice Christmas, love, that's what I'd say. Like, yeah, teachers do work hard and you're what, moaning at her and that. You're grabbing a, as long as she don't do it every year, isn't it? If she makes a, like, keeps doing it, tell her to fuck off. Sack her. 
shrink up. Right, thousands of paedophiles to face us and that or something like that. <laughs> Fuck you, paedophiles. Right, thousands of paedophiles to escape law over online images. What? Nice Do you know why that is? Two MPs got found with paedophile mm. images on their fucking laptops. Yeah. So they're probably thinking, ah, you can escape law now if you've got just paedophile images and you haven't actually had contact with a little kid. That's, uh, that's a bit fucking mad, isn't it? It's a problem, Does it say, like, how, what's the maximum amount of images you're allowed? <laughs> I don't really want to know anyway. No, a thousand people will escape paedophiles uh, because law uh, cannot cope with the sheer volume of offences. The head of the National Crime Agency has admitted Keith Bristow, the Director General of the NCA, said it was uncomfortable rea- reality that some of the 50,000 people who accessed indecent images of children each year would not end up in criminal justice system. The thing is though, I'd say half of them might just stop accidentally stumble across dodgy images when they're yeah, looking maybe. for the wrong sort of images anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like it's all mixed up. Like, X-rated stuff and the... I can imagine it's quite hard to get to them as old images. Oh, it probably is. Yeah. Uh, change website password at least at least every two months. Oh, I'm fat then. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit knackered on that one. I've had the same one for like ten years. <laughs> Probably shouldn't tell you YouTube that, but never mind. <laughs> ten year password reset. Uh, a man paralysed from the chest down when his spinal cord was sliced in two in a st- stabbing can walk again following pioneering surgery. Do you know, this is to do with, do you know that, I don't know if you've probably seen this, there was a bloke who had the same sort of thing and he got, they designed a robot that could fit on the back of his body to make him walk down the aisle because he got married. Oh, yeah. So he couldn't actually walk, but the robot took most of it, but it sort of, it looks a bit like Gromit. You know, I'm Wallace and Gromit, you know, like, because they're plastic seats, right? Yeah. Like, all like that. But it's quite, it's quite clever, man. But the thing is, this is going to be something. Do you think this is going to be available to people on the NHS? Um, no, because it's not going to be a cheap sort of thing, is it? This. This, this will be for elite people that can't fucking walk. Yeah. Like, it won't be for like normal people. To, uh, what's this say? Surgeons use nerve supporting cells from his nose to provide pathways along which the broken tissues were able to grow. Whoa. It is the first time the procedure has been shown to work outside the laboratory. That is fascinating, man. Oh, shit. This one, this guy who sued his mum, she changed the locks after falling out in the house and he's just suing her for that over the house. So he wants the whole house. So yes, it's a big lawsuit. No way. Well, the lawyers are going to make a bit of money, aren't they? So if you ever have a row with your mum and she changes the locks, just take her to court. (laughs) Apparently you can do that. I think the house has to be hers first. (laughs) Yeah, obviously, it can't be a council house. Yeah, your mum lives in a council house, she locks you out, she don't live in anymore. You're like, yeah, I'm suing you for your house, (laughs) love. A troll is jailed for anti-Semitic messages to MP. Oh yeah, well, I want to send some messages to MPs, but not like ones like that. What's How long that? did they get jailed for? That doesn't even say. It's probably two years, because that's what we've been reading about. Yeah, don't send troll messages to people. So anyone that's been on David Cameron's Facebook all giving him shit, I'd start. He, twi- he tweets a lot though, doesn't he, David Cameron? I don't get that either, he's the Prime Minister. He's Racism he's... row over the UKIP Calypso. The Independence. Former DJ Mike Reed defends his mock Jamaican accent in single. As, oh, so he was just doing like a fake Jamaican accent. Loads of people do that though. I do that. Oh, so we're not racist. Yeah, I'm not. I like, it's got a poor prank off. Let me have a pretty weird accent. That might be about like that, that millionaire that's like backing him. UKIP were accused of racing yesterday. I fight released a Calypso record featuring Mike Reed, the former DJ one who. Singing in a cod Jamaican accent, Nigel Farage, the party leader, urged supporters to propel the record, which laminates illegal immigrants in every town and EU restrictions on vacuum cleaners to number one in the charts. That's yeah. Did you did you know that? Did you? No, I don't know. Right, they say the EU have said there's like um climate change thing, and there's a lot of these new powerful hoovers coming out, and they go up to like seventeen hundred watts. Some of them do, right? Uh, so they want to ban them and say you're only allowed up to like 850 to start off and then go roost it down to 700 watts to use less electric, right? Because then people are what set fire to The Americans, power. this is crap up because I read it on the forum, the Americans said the only reason you are doing this year is because you can make a seriously like hardcore weapon out of it and they think that when the invasions come in and we're all going to get fucked, you won't have really powerful hoovers to defend yourself. <laughs> it's funny though, isn't it? Like, hey anyway, mate, you're gonna take my Hoover off me, so I can't defend myself. <laughs> you mean you're gonna take my gun off me? You can't defend yourself. Not your fucking Hoover, you idiot. 
It does save yes. electric, it would save electric, but like you don't turn around and say shit like that. Are ex soldiers to be sent to nine 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 calls. A plan to send fire crews and former soldiers to deal with medical call outs has been criticised as emergency services on the cheap. Yeah. That could cost lives, well it could. It, will, it probably will. Greater Manchester Fire Services to recruit 30 people to provide assistance on two types of low priority calls which is claimed to take police officers and paramedics off road for several hours. Well, it's, I don't know, because you kind of put in ex-soldiers, which don't, they don't, some ex-soldiers find it hard to get into work with yeah. paramedics, they come back at that, so you're kind of recruiting, which is good, but you are doing it on the cheap, as long as you don't sack people that actually train to do that job, to just to bring in an ex-soldier, then that's probably not that bad, but I imagine they probably will do that. Over here, we've got a gay couple ordered off the bus as drivers saw them kissing, <laughs> which is a bit harsh, really. don't know, you can keep that sort of thing at home, innit? Yeah, well, you wouldn't kick a, a guy and a girl off a bus for kissing. No, I probably wouldn't. And there you go. Yeah, I probably would let you kiss on the bus, just <laughs> don't keep doing it, mate. <laughs> like, you can do it once or twice, but don't push your luck, because you're getting off the fucking bus. <laughs> this must have been Grant on this. <laughs> an, investi- an investigation has begun after a couple were reportedly thrown off a bus for kissing. Uh, they said his partner was ordered off a bus in London by the driver who subjected them as a volley of abuse. Mr James, an event coordinator from Greenwich, told London's Evening Standard, we were chatting away when my partner gave me a peck on the lips. The bus driver shouted, Oi, you two, don't do that on my fucking bus or you can get off. Well, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> Proper homophobic bus driver. He yeah. said, I walked up to the bus driver and politely asked the driver if he was talking to us. His reply was, yes, it's my bus, it's my rules, and I don't want to watch that. It's disgusting. Get off the bus. Once we got off the bus, we were fuming and I was shaking. The bus stopped again and he shouted at us, told us we're not real men and we should fuck off. <laughs> that guy must have had a bad day. He must have, mate. He's been like gays. Yeah, look. I'm right. losing all the pages. This is, this is funny. Is that the front page one? Right. This is some little comment that they wrote about they want to like make money in that because obviously there's not enough money in the world, they need to drum stuff up in that, right? This little comment here is actually in the thing. Look, the economy depends on its golden oldies. So that's referring to old people, right? The challenge of getting affluent retirees to spend their money is the key to future growth in global markets. Just carry on spunking your money, innit? That's what they're trying to say. Like, don't save money, like which like, people sometimes want to do and have a retirement plan. They want you to spend it. How much was this paper anyway? £1.40. No, that's not bad actually. The other paper's like £1.60. I think we might have come to the end. No, no, wait, wait. I, I want to read this one. I want to read this one. I haven't got it for now. This is, uh, this, this is where I did read this one on the back. That's why I don't know read the newspapers before we start. But I did read this back of this one and it was quite interesting because it was related to the UK. Look, uh, more than half of UK businesses don't survive beyond five years with the UK tax system. A lack of bank lending and the cost of running a business cited as the top reasons for failure. So like, you'd think, you'd, as an Englishman, you'd think, oh, I don't want to work in a shop no more, I'll start my own business up, there's a good chance yeah. that it goes, right? And, uh, and it says it here, fails. yeah, and it fails, it says the construction sector has been the hardest hit, which is what most people do, like they go plumbing courses, electrical courses and everything, yeah. uh, with the chance of survival for five years down to just 44% as government cuts hold off many projects. In the health sector, the chance of startup surviving beyond five years is 56%. So it's a little bit higher, but yeah. still. And it's because the government are funny, look. Uh, government funding for lending schemes was down by 400 million in the second yeah. quarter of this year. 400. And where we're from, we've got the MP, that Robert Halford dude. He's, got, he's like the fifth most influential man in the UK for starting up businesses. Is he? Yeah. He ain't doing a very good job, mate, because most of them are fucking failing within five years. But yeah, he is actually... Fifth most, fifth most influential businessman, like for starting up businesses. Uh, since 2000, the UK has added 1.5, 1.4 million micro firms to the business landscape, an increase of 43%. The insurer warned this is affecting the UK's overall economy output. The thing is, right, these new businesses, they're just fucking, they're coffee shops, right, aren't they? Yeah. They're, they're Costa Coffee, Starbucks, like bad tea. shops. Yeah, yeah, bubble tea yeah they're just little yeah. places like that where people are earning minimum wage and they're startup businesses. I wouldn't start if, like, near us, there's a there's a burger place called, what is it, that Gay Burgers, Nine Gay Burgers. Oh, yeah, Five Gay Burgers. Five Gay Burgers, yeah, that. Like, that's opened up. That's going to be classed as a new business. I guarantee that will still be there in five years' time because yeah. it's a massive company. Do you know what I mean? So that's just helping the figures out. You stick up on Nando somewhere, that ain't going to shut down either, is it? But, like, if I went and started a job, like... Just don't stick a pizza or a Burger King because they've been shut down. It's mad, eh? If you think... Around here, anyway. 
We don't want any more. We just don't want any more takeaway places, food places. We've got so many. Yeah. Let her have a nice little shop that some girl thought, oh, I've made something at home and I want to sell this in a shop. Let her go and sell her crap, whatever she is. We just in need the shop an Amsterdam coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> no, you do. You did it right the first time. Yeah, I know, it's all right. Right, so that's about it for this episode on the Daily Telegraph. We're not doing one tomorrow, so we'll do one on Thursday. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks and for comment, watching. And thanks for watching. Peace out. See you next Thursday. No, not peace out. Yeah, peace out. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, subscribe, because it ain't no fucking issue when you do it on YouTube, you sit there and do fuck all anyway, just go ding, 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 ding.